on the futility of worrying and overthinking. Doing the worrying, the figuring, and analyzing keeps you from thinking you're doing nothing. You might even say to yourself, I'm at least doing something, I'm worrying. To many people, that's preferable to experiencing emotional pain. Yet the less pressure put on the everyday self, the more able it will be to do what it does best, and the more able it is to let in the larger picture, and by letting that in, allowing it to unfold as your path. The everyday self takes care of everyday reality. It can receive guidance and direction, but it's not through consciously thinking and analyzing. It springs from all that is, a far greater mind than the mind you think you have. As you clear your path, trust that your everyday self will get the solutions and act appropriately in its present moment.